My name is Erica Schnee, and I'm a member of the iCivics Teachers Council and a high school social studies teacher in Bozeman, Montana. This video will provide a brief introduction to the engaging video games that can be found on the iCivics website, as well as some of the gaming features that will encourage your students to keep coming back for more learning. Over 6 million games have been played on iCivics since it was established in 2009, so let's check them out. There are 20 games covering all three branches of government. Games are designed to be played in one 45 to 50 minute class period, but some games can be played in as little as 10 minutes. All games come with pre and post game activities and a teacher's guide, as well as student handouts. Once you've created an account, you can also use student progress monitors and score reports. Here are a few of iCivic's most popular games. Do I have a right, win the White House, executive command, and branches of power iCivics also regularly updates their games. In March of 2015, they're re-releasing the popular multiplayer diplomacy game, Crisis of Nations, and Win the White House is currently being updated for election 2016. iCivics games offer several compelling gaming features that increase student engagement. You can create your own avatar. Here's mine in his lovely judicial robes. You can personalize your avatar as you unlock additional accessories by playing games. Games also offer achievement badges as you progress. Finally, by logging in and playing games, students earn impact points, which they can then donate to the worthy, co worthy cause of their choice, supporting the development of civic engagement skills. Over 6 million games have been played, and now it's your turn, so go to iCivics.org and try a game. For more resources, you can also find iCivics on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thanks for listening, and happy civic gaming!